Hey, what's up guys? For those of you tuning in for the first time and don't know me, I'm Terence and this is Breaking 30. Breaking 30 is about a goal I set for myself to break 30 minutes at the 10K. And this is my journey, a journey I'd like to share with you, a journey that I hope inspires you and helps you set goals and go out and achieve them. I just want people to believe in themselves, believe that they can be better and do better. So this last week's training was my fourth and final block of my basic intro training um, where I would do five days of running, one day rest and it kind of worked out perfectly that at the end of this block the rest day did fall on a Sunday as from the fifth block I'll be moving to six days of training and one day rest so I'll be training Monday to Saturday and then resting the Sunday. And then just looking back at last week's training I did five runs, two hours 42, uh, just under 35 k's most of them comfortable between 4.30 to 4.35. I did start off the week feeling a bit bleh, but kind of eased into it and just started enjoying it again. Uh, all the runs were just as I felt, uh, no intervals or anything like that for now. I just really want to just get into things, get consistent and enjoy the runs. So that's where I landed up. I'm pretty happy with my progress, but I'm ready to step it up a notch and take it on to the next level through the next blocks of training. So during this week I came across a post by an awesome athlete, some of you may or may not know, Richard Murray. He just broke 14 minutes for 5k, setting a new PR for himself. Awesome run Richard, well done. And you know, just for a second it made me doubt myself and what I was trying to achieve because it was just faster than what I was doing, it was better than what I was trying to achieve. And it just made me think of one of my runs about comparing ourselves and how we can so easily do that sometimes. And by doing so we start doubting ourselves. So I also just thought that really would tie in for the last post on mental strength, you know, talking mind, body and soul and how we can keep building that mental strength. And one of those things is by not comparing ourselves to others, but focusing on us and our strengths and how we can do better and be better within ourselves. So I'd like to read a scripture from the Bible and it's from Galatians 6 verse 4. And it goes on to say, each one should test their own actions. Then they can take pride in themselves alone without comparing themselves to anyone else. And so what's happening in the scripture is uh, Paul is instructing us to test ourselves against ourselves rather than in comparison to others. In other words, we should develop the habit of looking at our work in the powerful, in the power of the Holy Spirit and asking, was this effective? Was this meaningful? Was this truly helpful? Did I reflect Christ in this? So just really focusing on ourselves and what we're doing and not comparing ourselves to others. We should take the time to make the honest analysis instead of merely comparing ourselves to the people around us. Then we can truly enjoy what we see God accomplishing through us in real humility. Paul's use of the word boast is not about bragging or a sinful pride in ourselves. It's about honest measurement of what is true. So what is true is that we are fearfully and wonderfully made and we are all unique. And I think that is something that we need to remember and that there is greatness in all of us and we need, the only way we're going to achieve that is through focusing on ourselves, not others. Um, another verse then I came across was Romans 12 verse 6 uh, which kind of rel uh, relates to that is that and it goes on to say we have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying then prophesy in accordance with your faith. So I hope that's added value to you uh, and just helped you understand that you are awesome and that you don't need to worry about other people and comparing yourself to others and that you have greatness inside of you and that you can just focus on that, set your goals, live up to your potential and believe in yourself and go out and achieve greatness. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <music>